Food in this country sends more people to the ER than anything else. Every single medical problem you have, Robert, when I look at that as an ER doctor, all of it's preventable. And I'm really happy that you're both here today because you still have a chance. Because I don't want to have to be the doctor to say it's too late. And it's not too late, but every single one of those medical problems can be addressed by changing the way you eat. You know, part of it, and Travis talked to me about this, and you can see the medications for blood pressure, cholesterol, fluid retention, uh, diabetes, you, you're taking insulin, you're supposed to, you blow it off half the time and don't take it. But the, the point is, it's not just about aesthetics, it's not just about athleticism. What happens when you start to lose the weight is there's a return to health. If we did his lab work right now, you would expect it to be chaotic, right? And we, what we wanted to do is return back to the middle and to the normal, and that can happen. It's not too late for him. It's not too late, and I, I'm really trying to emphasize to people, and it's something I do on the doctors all the time, and I say, look, we can either let food be our medicine, or it can be our poison. And too often we choose for it to be our poison for all the reasons you've already highlighted in talking to Robert and Diana. And what's amazing is the minute you make a choice, you decide, and you make that choice, both of you make that choice, you're gonna end this negative relationship with food and food is going to become my medicine. The minute you make that choice and you start making those changes, all of those medical problems you're dealing with, like Dr. <clears throat> Phil said, your high cholesterol, your high blood pressure, high blood sugar, all of those numbers start to improve. And the truth is, both of you need to figure out how to get control and not be afraid of what happens. You have got to learn to relax. You've got to learn that you don't have to obsess about 300 calories a day or the world's gonna fall off of its axis. You're, at this point, overwhelmed, right? Doesn't it seem like you have so far to go? It does. It's like, oh, what the hell? I, I mean, I'm so far gone now. I, I can never get back. But you know what? The next year is going to go by whether you're doing something about your weight or whether you're not. And it wouldn't surprise me, particularly, and we're going to do a lot of things with you, but the absolute core of it is you making this we're going to talk about it in a minute, but Travis's book, The Doctor's Diet, you making this your Bible. This isn't something you read and then put away. You've told me, I've tried everything. It doesn't work. A poor workman quarrels with his tools. It isn't the tools. It's the workman. This needs to become your Bible.